Francia, let's talk about what you did for your good friend, Selena Gomez. You yeah. donated your kidney recently. How are you feeling? What are some of the after effects from that? Um, I'm feeling really great, honestly. Um, it's been about six months. I just went in for my six-month follow-up, and they said everything is like my labs are more than perfect. Um, I still suffer a little from fatigue, but that's like normal. You know, my body's still acclimating. But other than that, I feel really, really great. The lifestyle change I had to do, I actually coincidentally started doing it three years ago, so it wasn't a huge difference. Tell a little bit of that. We are talking in the commercial break. It's truly yeah. remarkable, sort of maybe God's plan all along for you. Yeah. So three years ago, you kind of just... So, I mean, just like anyone, I love pizza, I love burgers, I love wings. I hated vegetables, hated vegetables. And about three years ago, my palate changed, and I was like, I really want vegetables, and I want fish, and I want to drink more water, and I actually don't really like alcohol, so I don't drink that much. I started drinking about two to three liters of water a day, and I started eating a lot healthier. Three years later, I go through these changes, and the doctor says, hey, you're going to have to drink two to three liters of water a day. You need to eat more vegetables. You can't drink that much. And so it was just the lifestyle change wasn't hard for me. So when I found out of a, I was a match, I already knew that three years prior, God had already prepped me for that moment. Let's talk about being a match, though, because that is so rare. Yeah. I mean, what are the odds of being a match to your best friend? I mean, they went to family first, I imagine. Yeah, uh, they were really encouraging family. Like, even when I came in to meet the doctors, they were like, do you have a family member, anything? It's a slim and none chance. It doesn't happen, especially at our age. You know, many people are looking for a match, and they can't find it, and family... Health history is a huge part of it, and you know I, I think that runs in her dad's side of the family, so which is why the family couldn't be a part of it. You said when you offered it to her, said it, you had an inkling that it was going to be a perfect match and a yeah, perfect fit. Yeah, I had a feeling, especially when we found out that we both were the same blood type. Like I just knew. So I was, I especially because I had already prepared myself three years prior, not even knowing health-wise that I was going to do that. And she even said, like, I know you're the healthiest, per you're the healthiest person I know, and I exercise like <laughs> yeah. every day. So. Again, that started three years prior to the Hallie, I know Hallie. it's a Put big... Your, hook your, yeah. hook your wagon to this one right here, right here. <laughs> yeah. yes. You got to yes. be your best friend. <laughs> I know, but it's a big decision because it does alter your life somewhat. You know, yeah. how you, you know, choose when you get married and have children someday. Yeah. You know, that it can change things. So it's not a decision you made lightly. No, it yeah. wasn't lightly. And I don't... And the doctors look for that. They, they, if, they said that if it was so light for me, they probably wouldn't have accepted me because um, it is a life-changing decision. You know, I run a high risk of preeclampsia now if I ever want to have kids. And so, but you know, I'm, I'm confident. Obviously, God was on my side through the whole process and her, so I'm not even worried, and I'm excited to have a family one day. I don't mean to be contrite with this, but what did she give you for Christmas? <laughs> what do you give your best friend that has just given you a kidney? You know what? When I told her when this was all going down, I don't want you to feel like you owe me. I don't want you to change our friendship at all. Like, mm -hmm. I want to be able to call each other and be like, why haven't I seen you like we used to? So it hasn't changed anything at all. And we don't really give each other Christmas gifts. Like, we just do stuff for each other you know, throughout the years, like every day is Christmas, I guess you can say. So like, no, I mean, she tried, but I'm like, please yeah. don't, don't change. I love me. that. Yeah. You are really the truest sweet. member of the girl squad. Oh, now yeah. there is such a thing. <laughs> Amazing. Congrats. Great Thank to see you. all three of you. We cannot wait for the show. Grownish oh, yeah. premieres tonight at eight over on Freeform.